Yo, hey everybody, good morning to you guys. We're gonna have a little chat today. If I can get this Instagram. Instagram, why are you always so difficult to work with on this camera? What, why, why guys? There we go, hey. So we're talking today about shifting gears to succeed and I got, I got a quick little minute. I don't have a whole lot of time. We're gonna make this fast because I gotta get to my next meetings and I, but I don't miss these. I'm telling you, I don't like to miss them so I get to come on and go live with you guys and it matters that I get to do this because I care about you. So here's what I'm gonna give you is a little thought real quick. Uh, I'm gonna save and close this bad boy. So here's the thing, I have to shift gears quick to succeed, as do you. And when I say this, I'm not talking about kind of like just like, oh, I gotta shift gears in a direction of, hey, I gotta take the new direction for my business. That's not what I'm talking about. When I say shift gears, I mean you have to be able to, in the day, in the moments, shift to a new gear. This is the thing that successful people do. Those who are able to accomplish more in a day, this is how they can accomplish more in a day. It's not because they're magical. I am not a magical unicorn. I might be a little bit unicorn, but I ain't full unicorn, right? This stupid Instagram. I feel like it's all over the place, hold on. You see my weird, you see, it's gotta be right. Anyways, that, that's much better. Now I'm good on the cameras. I got Facebook, everybody, Instagram. Hey, so here's what I wanna talk about. Things happen, they, I say make shift happen. Some people don't make shift happen. Some people get some things done, but off and on and off. And hopefully Instagram can stay around because I don't know what it's doing over here right now. So here's the thought. In the day, we have different ideas of what we wanna get done. My planner is stacked back to back to back to back to back. I'm no lie, like in six minutes, I gotta get off because I gotta get to another meeting. But here's what I want you to, to, to understand about what allows me to do what I do on a daily basis and how I'm gonna be, I don't know what's going on on Instagram. Maybe the connection would be great. My apologies, IG, I'm, I'm not gonna keep doing this because the people over here, they wanna get the message and I can't keep I can't keep doing it, IG. It's not your fault, but it's the, the phone's fault. So, how do you get more done Let's be very, very real. What ends up happening is we get distracted. We start the day. Everything's good for a moment. As we get moving, all of a sudden, I got to switch gears. I got to shift gears. And if I can't shift gears, I cannot get more done. What it looks like is this. If in a day's time, I want to I, on any given day, if it's an eight-hour day, can probably get it's mostly because in that, I keep saying reconnecting due to poor something. I'm just going to hold it in my hand because I have no idea, IG, what's going on. My, my apologies, you guys down here. You're just going to be here with me. And you guys, I'm talking up and down. Just today, bear with it. Because here's what happens. We get a lot of stuff to get done in a day. And if I'm trying to get things done in this daytime, if it's back to back to back, the only way I get it done is that I can focus on that thing in the moment. So if I have, let's say, a day of eight hours, so this morning I got up, I got a workout in, I read, I ate my breakfast, I prepared for a speech, I gave a speech, I then took my kids to school, I am now back home from taking kids to school. In the next four minutes, I'm going to hop off, I got a meeting, then I got to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call, a group coaching call, then I got a podcast, I have another podcast, then my camera crew gets here, we film some more. It's a nonstop thing, right? The only way I can get more done in this time frame is if I know how to switch gears. That's a big thing I want you to grasp. It's all about switching gears. Because in the moment of something going on, you have to be able, I'm gonna put this here, guys, you have to be able to pause, breathe for one to two minutes and get right into the next thing. That's where people fall short. There's not a shifting gear going on. You're, you're like, okay, I gotta get this for the first hour and the second hour, I'm gonna go wander my house and get things done. No, those who are able to get more done in less time, we simply do more in the same time. It's it. And a full focused mind, not like a halfway mind, not like I'm borderline here, not I spent 15 minutes break, like I get that, do that, right? But I wanna shut it down at three o'clock. I wanna be with my family at three, four o'clock, take my daughter to, to practice. I don't pick them up from school. I don't wanna be halfway in one place and feel like I have an open loop. The only way to do it is say, all right, breathe, <sighs> go back to work, right? And you gotta dig back in, but here's the thing. In the beginning, it's hard. Yeah, it's difficult, it's a little bit weird. Like, man, how do I end? That's a lot, I'm stressed out. I got you, I got you. It's gonna be difficult, but after a while it becomes your new normal. You're seeking new normal. That's it, you're seeking a new way of doing things because you know that if you do it for a little bit, you build the muscle, right? It's just like working out. I'm gonna start by being a little bit weak, a little bit incapable, but as I go and do it more and more, I build the muscle, I build the strength, I build the focus, I build the discipline, and now I crave it. When you get to the point of craving that love, like I crave that speed, my body needs it, but I know I'm burn, 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 go, and I huh, pause it, move on. I'm not stressed out, I don't even get burned out. I love it, I enjoy it. And I get done with the day and I'm off doing things that release me so that tomorrow I can do it again. And that's the key. I'm telling you, that is the big key to doing all this stuff. It's the planning. It's the organization, the structure that then progresses you towards the direction of being able to do it consistently. So sure enough, at the end of a period of time, I can get more done in this week than you will do this month. I'm not special. I'm not, I'm not superhuman. I don't have extra muscles in my brain, extra pathways. I have the same kind of brain. I've simply rewired it, the physical brain, to do what I needed to do mentally and better capacity. Same thing you can do. 
So if you're in a space right now of like, man, I want to get some goals, man, I want to get some things accomplished, the separation is not the information. It's how you're operating with it, how you structure your day. And can you shift gears in the middle of a day consistently, multiple different things from one thing to the next thing to the next thing without freaking out, without going crazy and being able to stay dialed in? Because if you can do that, I hope this message hits you. Uh, we hear the wonderful, it's freezing. I have no idea that my internet today didn't feel like showing up. My apologies, guys. The internet is not a fan of me this morning. It's super weird. I just did a whole live stream on, on WebEx, which is odd. That's all funky now. But that's my thoughts. I hope it helps. I hope it hits you guys. And I hope you go out there and do something special with it, which is just simple. Today, when you get to a moment of like, all right, I got some things in a docket, try to get back in. Like if you jump rope it, you would do jump rope. You don't want to rest too long. Jump rope, jump rope, jump rope. Pause for a second. Get used to that because the more you can get used to that, that will my work to get done and you get it done faster. You get to progress. Friend today. Take care. I'll see you guys.